Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lazy Friday, and run. welcome back to an episode of Persona 5. This is episode 73? 72? Something like that? I think it is 72, actually. I, I messed up the, the, the order of the previous few episodes. But, I, but anyway, in the last episode, I didn't record my face cam because I thought I was going to be spending like a million years trying to freaking fight the boss, but it ended up being easier than I thought it was. The I, I swear to God, the, the, the fucking... Um, palace and mementos was harder to defeat than the guy <laughs> but whatever i mean i mean it's not, it wasn't easy but you know whatever anyway in this episode we're gonna be continuing on i've saved my game after we did that and uh, morgana's gone i felt kind of sad about that we're gonna find out what's gonna happen for christmas day in uh february whenever i'm uploading this i think it's february yeah <laughs> I didn't expect to find the world's savior alone on Christmas Eve. Hey, say, what's going on? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, no problem. First off, thank you for taking my request. Your request? What was that? With your actions, I can only hope that public opinion changes. It will change, won't it? I'm sure it will. I don't know. We'll find out. True. It was social reform on a scale no one has ever accomplished before. But I believe that it will. Shido confessed to a variety of crimes. We can arrest him on those charges. The problem lies in proving him guilty. It'd be difficult unless the correlation between the metaverse and the mental shutdowns is made. I'll be blunt. I want you to turn yourself in to the police. Mm hmm. That's actually interesting. Uh, turn myself in. Your testimony will be necessary in order to prove Shido guilty. However, that will mean placing you on center stage. You'll be treated as a hero who saved this country. But there's no way that the police or the public prosecutors will let that slide. If you turn yourself into the police, you'll definitely be arrested. I'll close all the cases surrounding Shido. I intend to expose them all. Dude, every second I end up getting closer to my, uh, my fucking probation being over, and I end up getting arrested again. It's to prevent society from becoming distorted again. That's what you want too, isn't it? It sounds like my testimony is necessary for them to find Shido guilty. But there's no knowing that the police would do. They'd never let a Phantom Thief be the hero. If I take the stand and testify against Shido's crimes, everything can be taken care of. Before that, I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police of your own accord. Can I be There's tried? No need for that. What? A catchy motherfucker. You. How the hell did he survive that? He was being like, he was being surrounded on every fucking corner. How the fuck did he survive that? If they get their hands on the perpetrator, there'll be no need for him to turn himself in, no? You're alive? That appears to be the case. You said there's no need. Just what do you mean by that? Exactly as it sounds. I'll agree to testify against Shido and his crimes. I assume that works for you? Uh, what are you scheming? You're overthinking this. I have no hidden agenda at this point. What are you scheming? I don't trust you, you motherfucker. If I had to explain myself, I'd say it's simply personal principle that I repay my debts. For the time being, at least, I'll take your word that you'll cooperate with the investigation. That would save a lot of time. Sai is really calm uh, going in front of the guy who thought he fucking killed me. I'm sorry. You can forget everything I just told you. Well, you, so you trust him? After that shit, he fucking thought he shot me in the face, dude. If you hadn't gone into the metaverse, I'd be dead right now. Are you fucking trusting him? I'll take him in myself. Okay, whatever. I won't try to claim that everything will turn out perfectly for you, but I would bet this case will reach its natural conclusion. No. In fact, I swear that this will be properly settled. There's gonna be some bullshit going on with the catchy now. 
Shido and the masses have undergone a change of heart, and the case is headed towards its resolution. There must, this must be how things were supposed to happen. What are you guys scheming? This ain't... This ain't right, man. I know that I should hold back feelings like this given our situation, but it's Christmas Eve and we want to spend it together with you. Oh, okay. Do you think you could walk around the city a bit and then head back to your room? Oh, uh, you don't have to fucking tell me, man. Let's do it. I only have Makoto to do. You know, I guess I'm expected to have multiple girlfriends at this point. I should head to our meeting place. Come on, I'm exclusive. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that shit. You know? Sorry about this. I know it's a special day, but that's also why I wanted to see you. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's just about time for dinner, so why don't we find a place to eat? You want to talk okay, about how Ketchy's alive and? Fucking... Oh, uh, come to think of it, uh, well. It is a cold Christmas Eve, so... Yeah. Do you want to hold hands? How is that going to solve anything? Okay, whatever. I can't believe we couldn't find a single table. At least we can try to get a cake here, but... Even this place is so crowded. It's Christmas, dude. Uh, I'm fine if I'm with you, I guess. Th thank you. I feel the same way. Wait, focus. We've got a cake to buy. Okay, fine. Laser Farkas. Fucking buying a cake, dude. Let's do this Let's shit. Let's get going. You tell me any about Shoujo could probably make us one. It doesn't look like they have anything. Well, maybe we'd better find another place. You're not in the market for a Christmas cake, are you? Oh, um, we are, actually. Ah! Fantastic! One of our orders was cancelled last minute. Hey, You're kidding! Not bad. I guess it's your lucky night. So, do you want to buy it? Wait a second, what? How much is this shit gonna be? Well, if it's really alright... Then, yes! We'll take it! Do you don't even know how much you're gonna spend! What if it's like a wedding cake? It's fucking a million dollars! Of course! Just wait one moment while I go prepare your order. I'm honestly stunned. This kind of thing never happens, right? There's some bullshit going on. There's gotta be a reason why they canceled that cake, bro. Gotta be a fucking reason. Ain't no way they just canceled no, no fucking real reason. Uh, your good deeds paid off. Sure. We'll go with that. I guess. Okay. Oh, it actually is a good So good. Okay. What a great Christmas! Right? Maybe it was a good thing all the restaurants turned us away. Oh, oh, right. Here, before I forget, I got you a present. Oh, damn, it's a wristwatch. Hell yeah, dude. I have to say, um, my life's gotten a lot more unpredictable since I met you, but we got through everything so far. And it's made me realize I wouldn't want it any other way. I thought you might like this watch. Just in case we, uh... Lose track of time together. <laughs> okay, I'll take good care of it. It's really nothing fancy, but I'm glad you like it. Oh, wait. Don't move. Don't move away. <laughs> what do you mean? Makoto is staring at me. Oh! You had some cream on your nose. How did that even get there? Fucking just, you know, you take a bite of the cake, right? And it goes on the top, it just goes right there. It's fucking, now oh, it's right there. <laughs> I usually don't laugh this much on Christmas, but I guess it's not just the holidays. Meeting you's helped me see, you helped me find oh, so shit. many new experiences. Meeting you's helped me see so much humor, even excitement, and most trivial things. You helped me find so many new experiences beyond the life I'd known. I beyond the life I'd known. I fucking accidentally pressed A, guys. All right, give me a break. Thank you for spending Christmas with me. And for loving me. Wow, you're a very smooth talker. This is like very, uh. <laughs> my pleasure. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you. Oh, look! Whoa, what's up? Oh, it's snowing! It's so beautiful! Snow must have picked up after we got back. Well, that's good. I'm glad it didn't fucking happen while we was out there, man. It's, it's... I've, just, I've had to driven in the snow so much this fucking time. 
coming back to Leblon really was the smart move. Now we get to enjoy the view. It's cold out here right now. Why do you think I, I got this, this blanket? Happy. It almost doesn't feel real. It's all real. You're right. It's just so different from how things used to be. Hey, it's getting pretty bad out there. As much snow is bound to stop the train schedules. You don't need that. You don't need to have an excuse like that. You're welcome to stay over. Hope you don't mind, but I'll be staying a little longer. Don't worry about it. Makoto and I spent some time alone together. Epic. Sorry, I went too far. What? Now we're going down again? Are you fucking kidding me? I just do as a dad. Akechi did what? He turned himself into the police. Sis told me yesterday. Everyone's super, su not super surprised that he's still alive. He's admitted to being the perpetrator behind the recent cases. And he's doing the right thing. I don't trust this shit. So he's alive. Akechi couldn't survive and owned up to what he did. Well, I feel it's for the best. If Akechi kun is alive and he can atone for his crimes, that's not a bad turn of events. Right. Ain't that all stuff to be happy about? Mm hmm. It's Christmas. We should enjoy the day to our heart's content. I approve. Let everyone be merry to the max. I'm the one who should be giving permission, you know. Well, as long as you don't go overboard. I guess you can go ahead and cut loose today. Hell yeah! Merry Christmas! What happened to my fucking thing? Something bad happened. Hope it doesn't happen again. He didn't hear a word of that. <sighs> Fine. Better not cause that, you, you fucking Elgato, bro. I can see you. Oh my. I'm watching you. This now. is quite a sight. I fucking see you. Now. I'm going to be entirely honest. I wasn't able to bring a dish. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Instead, leave the dishwashing duties to me. I'll make sure they turn out beautifully immaculate. Yes. Hmm. Why don't we all just clean up together? So, who brought what? I don't want to fucking clean up. I brought that marinated seafood. Mmm. Oh, that's super good. I know. I'm. I'm fucking jealous now. Dude. It may not be to everyone's tastes, but I brought that cheese plate. I'm an American. What do you think this is, huh? Whoa! That smells like dirty socks. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh. But it tastes great. Ah, thank goodness. Did by you. Oh, is this a croquem bouche? It's so cute. A croquem what? I made that all by myself. All I did was buy some cream puffs and stack them up, though. It's been arranged so artistically that I hesitate to sample it. When it comes to sweets, On truly has us beat. But then, who brought this box over here? Ooh, this looks like more sweets. Not mine, by the way. Uh... It's fucking Morgana back from the dead, dude. Me? K kinda? Ryuji brought sweets? Ryuji and sweets? Sweets. Bro, what the hell do you? What, why is he fucking doing what does this say? I fucking brought that shit. Hey, what are you guys getting at? Fucking own it, bro. You ain't gonna be like that about it. It was just a bit unexpected, is all. I had expected something along the lines of meat. For some reason, chicken comes to mind when I think of you. Ryuji, chicken. <laughs> you fucking chicken, bitch. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in any sort of comparative way. <laughs> oh, fucking! Oh my god, dude! It's, it's, it's funny when she's like, "Oh no, that's not what I meant." Please don't keep going. It just hurts even more. You're not a chicken at all. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> I see. Come on, don't get all depressed. Everyone's here to party. Everyone. Oh. Mona-chan. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about, man. Where the fuck did he go? I mean, goddamn. I was 
trying my best not to mention it, but it's hard to avoid. I've been sleeping by myself. Well, technically not. Makoto stayed over. But tonight I'm going to be all by my fucking lonesome. If only Mona could be here with us. Oh, what is this thing? Someone call for me? Where the hell did you go from, man? Yeah, we were just talking about... Huh? <laughs> Wait. What? No way! I thought you disappeared! Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. So, you stayed in reality as a cat? That's awesome, bro. When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. I headed back here right away, but it took a surprising amount of time. If you were coming back here, you should have told us, moron! We were so worried! How could you fucking told us? He was fucking... Uh, how is he, how is he fucking able to tell us? He didn't have a fucking phone. Sheesh. Well, I brought my own surprise back, too. It's that goddamn KFC. I brought some fried chicken. I knew it. This doesn't have anything to do with your conversation earlier, though. <laughs> fucking Ryuji. <laughs> Any room left on the table? Oh, now there's our chief for ya. Talk about everything falling into place. Yeah, so. Come on, let's get started. We're gonna party to celebrate our hard work and my grand return. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Why do you Take have to? This. Oh, and things are out. finally back to normal. <laughs> now everyone really is here. What, what the fuck would say that? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would actually ever say that in a real situation. No, everybody is here. Fuck off. Greatest Christmas ever. Hey, fucking Makoto. You know, not wearing this shit, man. <laughs> and Morgana's back, too. I'm so glad. Gosh, I think I'm tearing up again. Hey! Lenny, I'm glad to be back, too. Sounds like he's glad, too. Hey, as a picky you, Mona. Nice little post party snapshot. Hey, look at that. Ah, a splendid picture. Yes, somehow seeing them together puts me at ease. You and him are pretty close by now, huh, Connor? Uh, he's family. Yeah? Nice. Family, huh? So I'm basically your older brother, right? Anyway, don't go disappearing again. Got it? I don't want to worry about you like that anymore. What's up? Hey. That's right, tonight's supposed to be a celebration. I'm glad I could be a part of it. I know I already said that, but thanks anyway. I'm glad I came back to you. Nice. Well, I'm glad he's been- yeah, I would like to save. Good idea. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll create a new one, I guess. Christmas save. If there's evil, there's justice. Give me a present! Oh, we went to 30th. We're down to one day left of the year. I know it's sudden, but we're gonna throw a year and party tomorrow. Kick ass! Are you organizing this with Tabachan? Thank you for letting us know. Soldier was making New Year's Eve soba noodles for us. In that case, would it be alright if we met up in the evening? May I invite my sister? Go ahead, the old place is reserved anyway. Then we should call yours a sour, too. Morgana Fataba already covered it, but she's really helped us before in that palace. And it's New Year's Eve, so not like she'd be busy at practice. I agree. Then Connie, you're officially our event coordinator. It's your job to contact her. She'll be thrilled. All right, see you tomorrow. A year-end party, huh? I'm already excited. Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away. See what she's got for us. So what were they? Thieves equals admins. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? I prefer a knitted long scarf. Uh, it's unique. Oh, you've recognized its unique beauty as well. I'd say it's a little too unique. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Oh, I know about uh, that. Yes, my apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time. I stole all of fucking uh, Yukiko's ramen once. Mmm, 
It's so good. Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing. You could open a soba restaurant. Bro, he's gonna have like a cafe, a restaurant. Bro, he's gonna be expanding. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill. Seconds, please. How fast do you eat? <laughs> this is like... You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Her stomach's bottomless. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. My <laughs> appetite's totally normal. Is Breaking it... news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I, should I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. Uh, catchy. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. Hell yeah, dude, that's what I'm fucking talking about. For real? And that's wonderful. Congratulations, senpai. Of course, this is highly confidential. Got it? Yeah, what zip great my news. Nose. Zip my motherfucking mouth, though. I ain't gonna say nothing. Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible. It's an actual real life good ending. And after that, the two hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. <laughs> Fucking Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up. I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model turned actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human, maybe Lady Anne would... That the human. year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Mm -hmm. Please don't go there, senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine. Student. fine. <laughs> what a good can't point. do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so much has kicked. happened over the past 12 months. Get kicked out for an in third place? Some bullshit. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah, I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? <laughs> next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Oseji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop, chop! And don't forget the black beans. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Nice. I got to see the ball drop. Happy New Year. Oh, shit. It's already the New Year. Let's make it a good one. Happy New Year. Uh, last year's end seemed only yesterday. Should we get together for a party or something? We gotta celebrate somehow. You have something in mind? I don't know, a mochi eating contest or something? A prospect absolutely devoid of any class or dignity. I don't know what we do, but I'm all totally down to see you all. Same, but not tomorrow, I got plans. Me too, apologies. But any other time should be fine. Sure, we can pick a day later. Anyway, Happy New Year, we're gonna have a great one, guys. Okay. Mm, hey, don't tell this to the others, okay? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. And being separated from all of you was... 
really scary. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Welcome home, Morgana. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. I'm gonna be gone, right? I'm leaving eventually. Oh, he's a fucking Igor. The real Igor. Oh, um, now I'm not in prison anymore. I'm in fucking... What is... Oh, this is, uh... This is his, uh... Um, Dr. Markey's office, isn't it? Class will be dismissed momentarily. Class will be dismissed momentarily. I get the feeling I need to go home. In the prison outfit? What the fuck? This looks like the school. Tartarus! I need to go home. Is it fucking Tartarus? You get awesome results to track meets alongside everyone else on the team, and eventually you get home some scholarships for college to make things easier for your mom. It's fucking Ryuji, dude. A butterfly? I should follow it. Oh, that's not a good idea. If that ever happened, I would have you ever seen a mud vein video, dude? Following the butterfly is never a good idea. Oh, he's a little cable. Why can't I run? Why am I going so slow? My sister's been supporting the family. It's unrealistic to demand any more of her. I'm helping Okumura foods grow, with my father watching over me. That's Haru. So I'm like all my social links are coming back to me. Where the fuck is this thing going? God damn, I got all day with this bullshit. Where are you going? Uh, I'm leaving this place. Leave? But this is where you belong. I see. So you still haven't accepted it. Well, I won't force you into anything. Let's meet again. What? What do you fucking mean? I don't know. What the fuck is it? Uh, I feel like I had the most bizarre dream. What could it have meant? Bro, I don't fucking know. My ex girlfriend came back. What? Why does it keep going now? Oh, it's New Year's. Hey, you toe. What's up? Good morning. Hi. Were you still asleep, TL game? Oh, uh, well, I'm up now. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I feel awkward asking this now, but I woke you up, but... Remember promising that we'd go pay our respects to the shrine together on New Year's Day? Uh, I think? Great! Well, today's the day if you want to keep that promise. I realize this may be a bit forward of me, but... What do you say to accompanying me to Meiji's shrine this afternoon? Uh, already looking forward to it. I'm so really? happy! Me too! I'd probably get be pretty crowded today, but it oughtn't be too bad in the afternoon, I guess. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> I must agree. I'll be sure to pay the, uh, pray to the gods that it won't be so crowded. Oh shoot, I hope that doesn't count as me wishing before making my offering. <laughs> hey, are you up yet? I'm counting on you. Well, let's meet the shrine around noon. I'll see you then. If you're awake, could you lend me a hand? A waste of my time. <laughs> Fucking New Year's. Sorry to make work your first activity of the new year. Why, what the fuck was that bullshit that I did before? Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. Uh, I hope it'll be good. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. I hope so too, and I hope whatever the fuck that school dream was, was not gonna be approaching on real life too. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? Is that the dude that we saw on the TV? Uh, it's nice to meet you, sir. 
Nice meeting you too. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? What do you mean? I was said nice to meet you. What the fuck's wrong with that? What bam? Oh, oh looking sharp. Yeah, not bad. You oh, too. you look absolutely lovely, Futaba-chan. <laughs> I picked it out with my mom. What'd you just say? <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, time to make like a tree. The year's first shrine visit, eh? What do you think we should do? Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. What the fuck? I'm dead work. Sorry, but I think I'll be getting there sooner than I expected. It'd be way less crowded than I thought it would be. Did my wish actually come true? Aw, oh, you're lucky. I'll wait till the entrance once I get there. Don't worry, no need to hurry. What's up? Did you have plans for today or something? I promised to do something. Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug. Alright, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Hey, that looks good. That reminds me, I still haven't seen Morgana today. Where could he have gone? Anyway, I need to head over to the Medjish Shrine. Oh no! Anyway, we need to head over to Medjish Shrine. Just got here. I'm at the Tori! Okay. Senpai! <laughs> Hello! It's Be careful now. You don't want to break that thing. Weird? No, not weird. Really. <laughs> Sorry for the short notice. I couldn't send you a New Year's card, so here we are. Well, shall we? <sighs> I wonder why. There aren't many people here at all. It's really unexpected. Excuse me. I'd almost prefer the usual crowd. Yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. really? Believe it or don't, only 364 <laughs> days until the next one. That is true, but... I know I'm going to use the wrong year for a while. Well, I have an idea. New Year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears? Huh? Didn't expect you two here. <laughs> yeah, we seen it. What's up? How many coincidences can there be in one day? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. <laughs> oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, the fuck is fortuitous? I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa Senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. How the fuck does that work? You see a ghost? I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe I should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. I feel like I just, like, dreamt myself into an alternate universe here where nobody died. It's like no one's making any sense, yeah. Well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. Mm hmm See you later. Looks like it's just us now. I wonder if we go to the Persona 4, uh, um, uh, that, uh, that, uh, Yosuke's, uh, senpai, whatever the hell her name was, wouldn't die. <laughs> oh, I was Saki, wondering earlier, what, what did you wish for at the Shrine, senpai? To be a ladies' man. <laughs> I already forgot. Uh, to stay healthy, I guess. That's that's the most important thing. Now there's a classic wish, but I think it's a wonderful choice. And you? Me? Well... Oh, 
I'm sorry. You actually got a phone working now? Hmm? It's from my dad. Uh... He's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. What some bullshit. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family's kind of serious about their get-togethers. We'll hang out soon. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. Okay. Sounds good to me, you so all. Dad! You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. <laughs> That's your dad? And who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai. The one I told you about before? My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. D dad Not all the time! <laughs> is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. It looks good on you. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? What the fuck is going on, dude? What? Hmm? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. Well then, Senpai, please excuse us. I don't have any other plans for today. I should head back to my room. No, can you explain what the hell's going on? Because I'm fucking confused. Morgana still hasn't returned. I feel like the questionnaire on the fan site has changed too. Hey, do we have our dream of the new year today? Do we? I thought it was tomorrow night. Is that a big or deal? Is that a big a deal? Is it that big a deal? <laughs> You'll just have your first dream whenever it happens. Hey, this is important. I can't let my first dream of the year be a nightmare. That doesn't count, duh. Here, take a look at good look at this. Maybe it'll help you have some good dreams. Hey, look at that. Oh, where'd you take this? It was before we met up with you guys. We bumped into each other first. Though maybe we would have taken a full group shot since we were meeting up anyway. The photo is good in its own way. Indeed, I believe it will inspire some good dreams. But you gotta dream of specific things if you want to have a good year, right? What's the traditional thing again? Mount Fuji, sheep, and okra? Sounds messy. It was Mount Fuji, a hawk, and an eggplant, in that order. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make myself dream about that. I sincerely doubt you can brute force yourself into dreams. I plan to have a dream of singular beauty. I gotta head to bed anyway. I got practice tomorrow, too. What happened this afternoon can't be normal. Something is wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. What the hell is going on, dude? Fuck this. this is some bullshit right now, man. God damn, what is it? I can feel a warm breeze on my face. Is it Morgana now? Hmm. I sent someone's presence. What the f- <sighs> What's up? <laughs> What's going on here? Huh? I was just sleeping. Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. What the f- These beans are the best! They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. What the fuck? That's- that's- Dude, this is some- What the fuck? That is- that is the- um- What the hell? Dude- Where the- what, what? That dude up there is Morgana? Are you fucking kidding me? And you- Dude, this is- Oh my god, I am so fucking confused right now. Looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans, they'll change your life! Good morning. Uh, Sphinx Lady. <laughs> 
Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. I knew it, dude. I knew it. only blow it. up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. Wakaba Ishiki. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? You fucking knew it as I told you, you motherfucker. What? I, I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on? Wakaba is Futaba's mother's name. But she's no longer. What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. Morning, Mona. I knew it, that dude's Morgana. Morning. Do you think there's enough Osechi for me to join you? Morgana? Was that a question? Of course I'm me. Seriously, are you alright? Something is definitely very wrong here. Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Tell me what- Thank you for the food. I don't know what the hell's going- I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. We're gonna supposed to be a cat and walk, but she shouldn't be here with us. What's the matter? This is a bullshit right now. A catchy! <sighs> Sorry, we haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. He knows exactly what's going on right now, I bet. He's got, he knows, he knows we're f There's some bullshit here. Akechi's gonna be the only one who knows. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. I feel like I'm having a fucking... You know, don't you? Yes, I know! Thank you, Akechi! You're the only one in it. There's some bullshit going on here. I don't know what the fuck happened. We have to discuss this. Akechi, please! That's right. Just like you seem to be. Come on. The fuck is going on, man? You said... No, you fucking luring me over here to finally finish me off with the fucking pistol now? Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. What's happening? That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Yeah, yeah, I fucking remember this shit. Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. <coughs> Shido's guys pulling the tricks from the inside. It was those fucking scientist motherfuckers, I bet. So, so this is fucking conspiracy. They let you walk? Yes. I was acquitted of all charges. It's absolutely preposterous. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... Wakaba. That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. Let's say we join forces on this. I can't trust you. Well, I can understand that. But considering what's going on, I think it's best to put aside personal grudges and work together on this. One condition. I'm in charge. For the time being, you and I share the same goal. 
to solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? He's right about the need for teamwork to deal with this bizarre situation. It may be best to work with a catchy on this. Have you made up your mind? What do you need me to do? Well, first I need information. Can you tell me what happened after parting ways with me in Shido's palace? I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now. And, uh... What happened? Um, I don't really understand what I'm seeing, but I'm just going to describe it to you. It's that building. It's really faint. But I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? Okay, what the fuck is going on, dude? I understand. I'll see you soon. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. I guess she spotted one. Despite not being in the metaverse. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? Of course not. Of course not, man. Yeah. I never turned down any sort of deal. I even said I wanted to keep the deal with you. About the fucking duel that we had. Senpai! And... Akechi-san? We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um... He knows. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... The Metaverse Navigator icon is back on my home screen. I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, there's one search in the log, but... There's an entry in the search history, but I can't read whose palace it is. Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? Infiltration time. That settles it. All right. Let's do it. We're gonna figure out what the hell's up with this shit, dude.
Yeah, I remember this place. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. Oh, look, your true outfit. True outfit? Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa-san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. The summary of the story is to, to this point has been updated. Oh, shit. Okay. We actually get to do this now. Okay. Akechi and... Uh, Alright. Let's do this shit. What their levels? What's their levels at? Oh, okay. Good. Dangle some again. Joker, there's a chest. I see it. Alright, uh, Catchy, what is your... Oh, I remember this. This place feels different than it did last time. Hmm. That was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how far you went into it last time? I think it was just beyond that door. That's where Senpai came to help me. I see, you're only familiar with the area close to the entrance. Now, let's keep going. Let us depart. Remember last time I couldn't get up the regular way? Or maybe I could, but I didn't try it. There are so many people here. This is definitely different from the last time. Welcome, and thank you for coming, patients. You will be guided one of our specialty care facilities according to your individual desires. You will assist each and every one of you. Rest assured, everyone can become happy. Maraki! I knew it! I actually don't know it, but I knew it! This guy- man, fuck you. Should you have any questions about the facilities, be free to free- Ugh, I wake up from the staff members nearby. Mm -hmm. What a strange announcement. Become happy. What kind of place is this? Because he wants to, to fix people's hearts, dude. I and mean, he wants to, like... He's a cognitive science dude, you know? He's it's fucking Maruki! It's just fucking Maruki! How the hell do I get down from here? Let me leave! What the fuck? Why can I not get down? Maruki! Oh, right here. Okay. This is perfect. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? Those geysers. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Take us to your room. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. <laughs> Ketsu sounds like awesome now, yeah. even though he's an asshole. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. All right. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. Hakechi san. Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. Oh, guy, this won't be so easy. This won't be so easy. Kushinara, 
Ravage them! Sondrion! Good! One got knocked down! Kill them, Sondrion! Yoshizawa-san yeah. oh, has the right go. idea! Explain their weakness! Slice and dice! Slice Perfect and dice! <laughs> I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? I stand by it. I think Akechi's voice actor is one of the best in this game. Especially considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all. Uh -huh. Yoshizawa san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research. It's gotta be Maruki, dude. It's gotta be fucking Maruki. It's just fucking Maruki, dude. And also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a, a ruthless sort of person. Yep, this is normal. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. You think you- yeah, I fucking beat you so many times, dude. You really think- you, fuck off, I catch you. Looks like we're busted. You can't do nothing to me. Bitch, well, let's see if I can open that door down there. I probably won't be able to open this door anyway. I could have opened it anyway. Even though I I just went and did that parkour for no fucking reason. Okay, but what's up? Aren't you gonna get examined? I'm on my way now, so exciting. Fuck out now. I can Man, feel it. Examined for bullshit by that, you fucking kidding me? Can I run into the yellow ones? Show me your true form! He's got them surrounded. Still up. Persona. Finish this. They're an even match. Let's go. Don't mess up too much. I'll return the favor. Nice timing. Ooh. What a letdown. <laughs> we didn't even break a sweat. All right. Let's I keep this pace going. Dumbass. Safe room. It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? I should write something. So Land. Okay, shut the fuck up. Try to talk. <sighs> I'm getting a strange feeling on my chest. I do hope it's just my nerves about this place. Do you have a moment? I realize resting is important every so often, but we do have time to relax. No. I got the time to Let do anything depart. I want. Man, don't you I am just. Epic. I can feel it. Bro, it's all I can talk. What? That voice. Look. No way. Is it? Is it? It really is Kazumi. Oh man, I thought it was Maruki, dude. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here, once she's able to calm down. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> why? 
that was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? And was it really was it really his father's thing or was it was it just because he was he had a heart? I'm I'm confused, but But how was this video? <laughs> you okay? I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? Uh, after transferring here. I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. What is that? How is that interesting? I see. What are you fucking ominous? Catchy, trying to sound fucking ominous. I ain't scared of you, bitch. You ain't fucking right. I hurt you so many times, bro. Ain't no fucking way. I ain't fucking scared of you. Try and sound all tough like I see, I see. I'm in charge around here, all right? This place is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. Okay. I can see it. You were misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. Huh. A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. Oh, Fine. Stop rushing into things. Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. Persona! No. Brute force won't do anything here. They're resistant to physical attacks. Come. All right, sounds good to me. Anubis, you're mine. Feel <laughs> my power. <laughs> nice move, Yoshizawa. Come on. <laughs> These guys are powerful and immune to curse. Persona. Kushinada. Ravage them. <gasps> Let's dance. What? Damn. Oh, yeah. You make that look easy, Joker. He's on Earth. Yes, Brute force won't do anything here. Persona! They're resistant to physical attacks. Garuda! Go down! Persona! Come on! No. Brute force won't do anything Persona! here! They're resistant to physical attacks! Kushinada! Hm. 
Nice timing. Thank you so much. Dance, Persona! I leveled up. Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? Was you in oh, middle school, bro? Samire! <laughs> Samire! I did it! Both of us have the same dream to be international champions. Stop. Let's make it come true, Samire! Together! Stop it! <laughs> <sighs> Yoshizawa san? Your. I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. Pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? That's Marquis, dude. How many times do I have to keep saying it, man? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. Head on down. I'll meet you there. He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. What about Kasumi? <laughs> Thanks for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. Okay. Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Why did she confuse her for fucking, uh, what the hell's her name? Samiri, whatever what the fuck ever. Su- Sumi- Sumi- fucking hell. I completely forgot the name already, I'm dumb. I know it starts with an S, okay? Just give me a break. Alright, uh, wait. Can I go over this? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, over here, I got you. Got you, bro. Wait, something? This is just a different way. I don't know where the hell I'm going, dude. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Straight this way, probably? Yeah. Okay. Is this just the way I came? Or? Oh, no, 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 no. It's different. Oh, no, it is. It's the same way. How do I come down there then? Maruki wants to tell me how to fuck to navigate this place, or right? I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'll reveal your true form. Trash. He didn't see us at all. Good. One got knocked out. One enemy taken out by Yoshizawa. -san. Well, well, well. How should we kill off the last one? Okay. I'm glad. Come here, you marky son of a bitch. I dare you. Fucking knew it was you, man. Is he? This palace's. Yeah, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? How are, you, how are you fucking surprised about this? I knew it from the beginning. 
Glad to see you're all doing well. Were you even paying attention during his social link, man? I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler. But in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. What? Why did you make Morgana into a dude? Like, sleeps in my bed with me. What the fuck kind of... How the fuck is that? That's... Bro. You're trying to make me happy by, by fucking doing that? Well, I guess bringing back Fatawa's mom and uh, Haru's dad is good, too. I think that's good. That's a good one. I have cool. gained the power to alter reality. To make it whatever the people wish for. Change it back. I don't fucking know. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is... Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? Alright. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. That's... Ooh, okay, let's... let's... Today was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. But you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. Ooh. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <laughs> no. Hey! Kasumi's the one that people want. Wait, so this is fucking identity theft, oh, look bro. Where you're going. The light's red. Hey! Yeah. Look at the talented one who can reach the top of the world. Sumire, stop! Listen to me! Sumire! <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking awful. God damn. What? Oh my god, what the- Kazumi. So the real Kazumi died there. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Remember who you really are, wow, I did not expect that, okay. Well, I... uh, seems you remembered. That's right. I'm Zoomy, no, I ain't Zoom. Cause... 
Kasumi? No. That's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. Wait, so what the fuck? This was Mark. Wait. Are you fucking kidding? Wait. Hold on. Give me... Hold on. Let me understand this for a second. So... Oh my god, Maruki made... Oh my, I have no fucking idea what the hell's going on, dude. Maruki's... So this... This person, whoever the fuck this is, I was talking to... Uh, I don't know. A girl know. named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. You knew that? You didn't it fucking tell me? last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. So Maruki made Sumire, whoever, like, think it was fucking... Dude. Dude, this guy has been pulling the strings for the... What else did he fucking mess with, dude? I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams. And even her life. I'm her younger sister. Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister. But for months now, She's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name Kazumi Yoshizawa is written inside. It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him. If Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why, that's when Maruki built into the story, dude. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right, limited as it was. I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had God enough damn. of your high and mighty rationalization. Yeah, you got damn right. This is the first time I actually agree with Akechi. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. My work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. <laughs> you could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. 
What happens to the old reality? I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... I... Believe in yourself. It's impossible. I'm sorry, Senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? I'll find my own happiness. No deal Thank so you far, very huh? Much. What the fuck? Well, that's one hell of a way. What do you think you're doing with her? I won't harm her. It's in her best interest that you turn back. You've made clear that you reject the reality she desires. The reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa. <sighs> this isn't reality. It saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. To no, waste Jesse. of my time. Thank you. A shame, but I understand. Well Who then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? <laughs> Violence is not my thing. Fucking catchy is the only one I. He took a, like a full 180 on how I thought about it. I agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. Push me back all you like, bitch. Time to fight. Are you ready? I was born Keep ready. Up, and don't embarrass me. Huh. Stubborn imbeciles, rejecting our lord. Disgusting. We're not here to listen to your bullshit. Come. What? Wake up! Fear my power! <laughs> Lucky back. Let's go. What's this? Anubis. Anubis. Go down! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Ooh, come! I've never seen that one before. 
powerful. This is nice. Nice, powerful, and immune to first attacks. Garuda! Ravish them! They dodged your attack, Joker! Come on! It's fine. I'll break them. Persona! I'm lagging. Someone heal me. Kushinara! Yeah, I got All right. I got a present for you. No, you feel it. Are you? Oh, well, I catch he's dead. I can bring him back. Why'd I do that? No one's got that. Don't rush it. I played the thing now. There. Thank you. No time for thanks. Stop getting fear every fucking time. Like, come on. Come! Hm. No. Such pathetic attempts won't be enough as this. Of course, dude. The fucking. This spree just won't go down. Come! We're about to lose a lot. Accept his mercy. Give yourselves over to him. Would you just quit running your mouth already? Joker, I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. He'll die. <laughs> Hell yeah, we will. Let's fucking do this. I want to see this. <laughs> this is the first showtime that I've been a part of. <laughs> Not bad for an improvised technique. You want to go now, bitch boy? Huh? Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Pandero. Mm, that I cannot do. Well, I'm gonna have to take her from you, that bitch. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her. And I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize. But you really are going through with this. Even if it's by force. Come on, then. Let's fucking do it. 
I've been waiting for you this whole time, motherfucker. We'll what do you mean by force? One week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. <sighs> he got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. What say we head back for now? I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think, Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. We need to save some Mary. Don't you think it'd basically be suicide to try and save her in our current state? We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. I'm sleeping on the couch from now on. So this is the reality that Marky created. There's no point obsessing over it now. I should go back to my room. Welcome home. You sure we're out late? It's me. I discovered something that I thought I should tell you right away. Yeah, I called Yojisawa's son's house to see what I learned, and I believe she's been at a training camp since yesterday. To think, Maruki really is changing our physical reality as he sees fit. That's scary. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this magnitude. So even the great Phantom Thieves you're so proud of fell in line with his scheme. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Well, fine. I suppose we can use the manpower. If you can actually bring them to our senses, that is. That's wholly dependent on whether or not they're capable of living the reality they're supposedly wished for. I'll focus on investigating Maruki further. You do what you need to. Got it. Well, I'll reach out to you if anything should come up. No, good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. Hey, so I was thinking, why don't us fan of these all go to a hot spring together sometime? Then Lady Ana and I can... <laughs> How's that sound? Perfect, right? We should ask the rest of the gang soon. Rather than exploit it with words, I'd like to see you actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it, TL Gamecoop. It seems this reality is the one that Morgana wished for. Alright, we ought to hit the hay for today. Ah, the bed may be a tad too cozy for the both of us. Oh well, I'll just start sleeping at the sofa instead. Yeah, you happy? Huh? Where's this coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. Do you like this reality? Like reality? Well, it is the one we fought for with anyone else, so... Wait, what did I mean by... That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamashita's palace, and that's when I met you guys. We went to Mementos, I transformed into a... <laughs> I keep thinking it through. Huh? Okay. I got to be useful for humans that I admired so much. Nothing can make me happier. What was... Sorry, I'm gonna go around and do some thinking for a bit. You should get some sleep. Yeah, you got damn thinking. Oh, it seems uh, all I can do is wait. Yes, I would. Alright guys, so that's gonna have to be it for today. My name is Laser Friday 101. If you guys want to see me figure this bullshit out, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content. Now see you guys later.